Hi Capricorn, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. Keep in mind this is general so it may or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate with you, feel free to check your other placements to see what else comes up for you. What's going on with Capricorn when it comes to love? Ooh, we have wedding. This could speak about commitment. It doesn't have to be an actual wedding. Someone you could be married or this person that you're dealing with is thinking more towards going to the next level. We have liquid courage. Someone may get drunk and reach out to you. This could be you, could be your person. We have unfinished business and truth. The truth may come out when someone is drinking. Keep that in mind. If, <laughs> if you don't want to like pour out your feelings, maybe avoid the alcohol. What do we have? Okay, comic lessons. What do we have for Capricorn in their love situation? Oh my gosh. Wendy Williams. Loki needs their ass beat. Talks about everyone always in drama. Insecure. Shady as hell. <clears throat> Date casually. And not gonna cry. Chin up, chest out. You are strong. Recognizing your own worth. Mary J to the BS. Do something to make yourself feel better. Moving on is better than being stuck. Some of you are moving on from a connection and dating casually. There may be someone gossiping about you. We have sweeping things under the rug. This is all over the place, Capricorn. Oh my gosh, I hope it like starts to connect together. But well, let's see. The person Capricorn is thinking about. Tell me what's going on here. What are the energies between the two? Towards each other, what's the energy? Someone who you haven't been communicating with wants to come out the cold. They have, there has been no communication with this person, but they're wanting to come up out the cold. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing with that. You have the Ace of Cups in reverse. You're kind of on the fence. This person may have made you feel rejected. So you're like, okay, maybe I should move on. Focus on me. Some of you have other things to focus on as well. You have things I'm hearing more important. So you may have things that are more important that you feel that you should be focusing on, like work and stuff like that. Mutually, there's a feeling of rejection and disappointment and ego blows. So you may both feel this rejection. Could have been an argument, a fight. And both of you left the situation feeling hurt. This person's next move, they may, they may try to say something, but they're not taking much action. Four of Swords, they're still thinking when they, when they do come forward, they, they're still thinking, they're still unsure if they want this, but they're trying to like make a move and see. So it may be something subtle, something quite short. That they have to say oh my gosh capricorn <laughs> your near future the ten of freaking pentacles and the star what is gonna happen for you some kind of success no wonder you're thinking okay there's more important things to worry about because something is really blowing up for you here something is bringing you a lot of abundance success recognition you're creating something but the knight of cups is in reverse you may either either it's this Wendy Williams character who is jealous of your success or this person may start to feel jealous like feeling like your new life that you're attracting or that you have attracted will bring you know new suitors causing them to feel jealous and competitive Se um seven five of swords I was gonna say seven of wands and now I'm seeing the card in my head so I don't know if they're gonna feel pushed out of the situation when you start to move forward and they feel left behind i don't know but it seems like something triggers this person to get jealous like they feel like you could have anyone you want like there's more suitors coming your way people are looking at you people have eyes on you and they're kind of on the outside looking in i feel like they're wanting to make their presence known to you <laughs> what are they a ghost <laughs> Wanted to make their presence known, like it could be that they're, they're fearing rejection, so they just kind of pop up to see if you're going to respond well to them. So they could be Aquarius for some of you. That's, that's like the only sign that's well, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio as well. Let me look at the main spread. 
so yeah this is kind of coming together slowly <laughs> what do we have for capricorn when it comes to their love situation what's coming up for capricorn in love what's coming up for capricorn in love freaking star again capricorn and it's your like first card and it's your energy this is in the position of your current energy you're creating something you're working on something creative or you're just going to be recognized for something the empress jesus this is your feelings towards your person but i do feel like you'll be really glowing as well especially with the star energy you're still attracted to the person that you have on your mind. They have the lovers in reverse. This is this person. I feel even before the cards come out, I feel like this person is going to be suffering in a way where they're seeing you come up and it's kind of like they, they just kind of have this fear, this kind of rumbling in their soul of, oh my God, Capricorn is, you know, everyone wants Capricorn and, you know, can I even compete type of thing? Like they're, they're really in this position of, oh my gosh. And this could be your person or it could even be someone who's jealous of you. Someone who's competitive with you, seeing you blow up and they're like, oh my gosh, now I can't even compete. This person's missing you. Five of cups. Oh my gosh. They could be Gemini, Pisces, Libra, Aquarius felt the need to take that out we'll see what it means so we got aquarius libra gemini pisces cancer scorpio so a lot of water energy in the center and there's pisces here with the moon oh my gosh this person they are very sad they're feeling like they're losing you i was making fun of it before but it's actually quite sad they are feeling jealous, competitive, but also kind of hopeless. They're going to be feeling that way when you start to become successful and more out there. I don't know if it's just you posting more and people are commenting and saying how good you look and, you know, they're seeing you have all these people flirt with you and they're like, oh my gosh, no, this can't happen <laughs> type of thing. Um, but yeah, there's this... Um, there's this major feeling of discomfort with this person, but also sadness. They feel like they have to share you with the world or that there's just a lot of competition. But this could have been someone who made you feel rejected and you felt the need to walk away from them. You may have walked away and decided, you know what, I'm gonna glow up, I'm gonna focus on me. You did that and now they're looking at you like, whoa, what have I done? <laughs> um, let's see. You're seeing this person as not being able to move on. For some of you, I get that it could be more than one person, more than one ex coming towards you. Because I'm seeing that you're seeing one person in particular as unable to move on. So they may have left, but they pop up as soon as they see you really glowing again. I don't know if you took some time off, like you took a break and just distanced yourself from social media and from the world. But when you come back, you're going to see other people starting to come back to you like yeah that's what i'm seeing why the five of cups why is this person feeling the five of cups when it comes to capricorn yeah they feel like they're at a standstill they feel like you're just rebelling um knight of wands in reverse you're just doing you you're just on fire doing your own thing not they're not able to tie you down the lovers in reverse. I don't know why I feel like it's more than one person feeling this way towards you. I don't know if it's multiple exes who regret. <laughs> like you're making all your, your exes regret leaving you. I don't know what you've done. But. Hmm. Okay. There could have been a third, this could have been a third party situation. Maybe they chose someone else over you. Or you left them because you noticed that they were seeing someone else. But I see with the lovers in reverse, can speak about cheating. We got the two of 
pentacles and the queen of wands which with the queen of wands which could represent someone some other person so it could have been that this person cheated or if we're juggling and you left or they left you and chose the other person but you're making this other person look like a dried up potato oh, okay i'm just gonna say that because that's, that's the image i'm seeing in my head an actual potato but i hate to like describe someone that way but that's literally the image i see like you're making this person this other person look boring basically or who like even if it's multiple exes let's say those exes moved on you're making their new girlfriends or boyfriends look like look boring there's a lot of exes with, regr with regrets for you capricorn so some of you it's one some of you it's multiple what's with the star energy for capricorn there could have been a lot of disappointments i feel like a lot of disappointments a lot of pain and conflict and loss brought you to this place where you were able to create something amazing um you know it's like creating something from your pain you know and you're heartbroken and you just go on this creative thing you just start doing stuff because you're hurt and then it actually ends up becoming successful you know like musicians writing songs because they're heartbroken the song becomes a hit that type of thing like you're creating something because you were hurt or really working on yourself and um glowing up because you were hurt especially for those of you who were left for someone else or you had to leave someone because they were juggling you may have decided to go and focus on your looks focus on your your healing and your looks and your career and it just really takes off because you actually just chose you over a bad situation and now everybody's regretting that <laughs> why the empress you're gonna some of you are finding a lot um a lot of attractive options you may see yourself as not being single any <laughs> anytime soon like you may start to see a lot of attractive options that you've never seen before come forward and you're like wow who do i choose type of thing but you may still be attracted to this person over here as well you may find yourself texting with them some of you may choose this person over everyone else over all the competition which if they were to timing I, I don't know maybe you have forgiveness in your heart for that i don't know but queen of cups and the king of cups in the center this is crazy wow there's mutual feelings here but what's blocking is the king of cups why is the king of cups blocking the situation so there could be one person that you choose that is blocking all the other people from getting to you because i feel like there's a lot of people who want you at this time now or in the near future so this king of cups could represent that one choice that you make the person you choose to be with and not the other people the other people having to stand back but you may be able to transform a relationship with someone it could be that you're choosing a scorpio someone with scorpio in their charts why the hangs man in reverse Why is this person seeing you this way? They're seeing you as a magician, someone controlling. And that you owe them an apology type of thing, or you should be the one to come forward. Who the hell is this? Could this be the fake friend? I don't know. But it's someone who's gonna be communicating with you. It could still be this person, but I don't know why they're seeing you like this. King of Cups. This is so like, I don't know if this is someone despising you for, for you choosing this two of, this King of Cups over them and they're seeing you as, or they like turn around and call you fake because you didn't choose them. Something shady about how someone is seeing you They may feel wronged by you, could be a friend, could be a jealous person. Why the moon as the outcome? You're not gonna see this coming, Capricorn. Look at that, the Ten of Pentacles again. 
Oh my gosh. Justice. This is fair. This is what you deserve. This success. Ten of Pentacles again. The Temperance card, which tells me that the angels, your guides, whoever are working on this, this is in divine timing, is coming up. You're not going to see it coming. You don't know what it is. I don't know what it is either, so I can't tell you because the moon just says, I ain't telling you nothing. That's what the moon says. But it's going to be positive and it's like that's all you need to know, basically. I don't know, man. It's something the universe is working on for you. It's divine timing. It's been in the making. It's divinely orchestrated is what I'm hearing specifically. Divinely orchestrated. And I'm being drawn to here. So it may have to do with something that you did when you were hurt or something that you do when you're hurt. Like let's say you just post a video because you feel hurt and you decide to express. Not, not really go on a rant and pour out your feelings on social media. But maybe you just decide to do creative videos or write creative creative music or something something you do out of pain and disappointment that really works out for you and you you don't see like you don't you, something you didn't think would, would 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 happen something you didn't think would happen But, let's see, oh my gosh. What you don't see coming in the near future, oh my gosh, some of you are taking back this ex. Some of you are stuck on the past with this ex. And even if you become successful, you might still take them back. I'm gonna say that straight up because we've got the Six of Cups in reverse, the Fool, and the, two of, and the Two of Cups. Some of you are just leaping into love with this person because you feel a soulmate connection with them and that's that. I don't know if it's gonna work out or if it's gonna fail. I just see some of you leaping into love with someone. It could it could even be someone new. If you don't have a person you're into at the moment, but you're you're jumping blind, blindly into love, like you don't give a damn. And for most of you, it's something someone from the past six of cups. But you know what's good for you. Something, see, well, unfortunately, reverse. Something unfortunate happens that causes you to do something great. The card that wanted to come out was the magician. You see, I knew it was something big. You are manifesting this. Whatever this is, you may have written it down a long time ago and then forgot about it, gave up on this dream or whatever it is. It's something you're manifesting. is crazy what do we have for capricorn and their love situation finance and career see right now the focus is your is, is is something that's gonna blow up for you love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive children your love life is being affected by children could be that this person has kids with this other person they may have been going back and forth We have clothing your soulmate, your praise and affirmations and visualizations, heart bring you together. You're manifesting this connection. You may have tried to manifest it in the past and it didn't work, but you end up being with them anyways, along with your career success. What do we have for Capricorn in love? New love, a new person, unknown person. I feel like there's multiple people wanting you. Control, release, releasing, taking back power. Short term, quick fling, endings, and time. Long distance, foreign distance. Could be that you're at a long distance from someone. There could be a lot of people reaching out to you from long distance. There could be a short term new love, you st or you start dating someone, end up leaving them sooner than you thought. Maybe because this person comes towards you or someone you actually want to be with. But. This success has to do with you at some point taking back your power from a situation that you just felt wasn't right for you, was causing you pain, and you use that pain to create something. With dating casually, I do see short-term relationships that you just kind of walk away from because it's just like you're just not feeling it because I just see you leaping towards a soulmate connection here. So I see you letting go of a short-term connection. 
What's this person's hidden truth? The person on Capricorn's mind. What's their hidden truth towards Capricorn? I lost myself for a while. I remember every detail of that day. And I love you. So this person may have checked out for a while. Still keeping you in their memory, but they they may have been playing games. I don't know. Like some of you, some of you have forgiven them for that, which I don't know why, but it's your life. But I see someone who was clearly juggling. And they but they are feeling sad about um, you um, not being in their life. So yeah, some of you have manifested your life, like you've detailed your life and it's manifesting career and love. Maybe you just take this person back because you manifested them anyways. Maybe you knew they were going to leave that other option or you manifested them leaving the other option for you. I don't know, man, Capricorn. I feel like anything's possible with you manifesting because this magician that came out. So right now you're making real spiritual boss moves <laughs> that are really working. So I hope this was helpful, Capricorn. Feel free to check your other placements if you want to know what else is going on. We have um, Sagittarius, Leo, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Those are the main signs I'm seeing. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.